I've um, encountered a lot of pain, trauma, peace and joy in my life. Um, it started as a teenage mom, then it went into the loss of my brother, who was murdered brutally in 2002. I'm also a divorcee, I'm also a single mother of three. And just recently I suffered um, devastation when I lost my fiance in December with very little warning. However, I am at a place of broken peace. It's a struggle daily to um, get up and face the world and, and um, kind of cope. But, you know, I find that and I truly believe that is the prayers of others and um, my spirituality, my connection with God, why I'm, I'm still here, why I'm sane, and why I'm still standing, and why I'm able to share my story. I'm not in this journey alone. There's so many people out there that are afraid to share their story, that um, hold it all in. And I just want to be that force where, you know, it's a freedom. It's free for me. It's a freeing experience and it's also a healing experience for me to just talk and share and you just never know whose lives you impact along the journey. Um, I know that I'm not in this alone. There are people that have suffered loss, there are people that are divorced, there are single mothers. There are people like me that found my soulmate, my happiness and it was snatched away and life goes on and you just have to learn how to cope, how to adjust how to believe, how to trust in God. And in this process and on this journey, I'm just learning how to love myself for the first time ever. Just self-love, growth, healing, and just trying to take it all in. And I'm not alone. There's so many people just like me. It was an opportunity to share my story, to share my truth and to make other women, men, children aware that they're not alone. So each footprint for me on this journey describes my life.